Y'all, he one of them, he one of them anime watching ass niggas. Yeah, I am. <laughs> yeah, I am. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Ain't nothing wrong with that. I ain't, uh, I ain't never grow up like watching anime. Like Dragon Ball Z. Nah, I never. Love it. Nope, to I never. Me, Cowboy Bebop, the real Cowboy Bebop cartoon version. Not that shit on Netflix right now. Like. Everything, bro. One Piece. Uh, damn. Yu Yu Hakusho and Yu Asha. It's a whole lot of them, bro. As soon as they come, who, on, I what? Were you saying what? Yu Yu Hakusho and In Yu Asha. It's a whole lot of them shits, bro. <laughs> hey, let's stop playing, bro. He said In Yu Asha, a sugar washer. <laughs> <laughs> Um, oh, I forgot the music is by Rizzo and this shit too. Mm. Shout out Rizzo then. Shit. Yeah, this shit lit, bro. That's some real. Nah, nah man. We back at it. In fact, I was back, just trying to say. Back, back, back at it. In case you forgot. Mm-hmm. Turn that shit up, hold on. Mm-hmm. For the folk in the back, hold on, turn that shit up. Bite. 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 Yeah. yeah Typically yeah, we yeah. just have guests So this is a little different for us You feel me um, is Ain't nothing different though Shit Facts. Still Another day, Another day in the lab <laughs> Can we get hit Can we get hit for uh, Copyright For even having area codes In this shit Like you know what I'm saying? Like a snippet. A snippet of that sounds like you could. Yeah. Mm, no. Fuck it. We move on. It's still. Go no, all the way. <laughs> uh, all the way, all the way, all the way. Also, uh, you know, this year, and I don't know, it hasn't been celebrated enough, but this year. Uh, makes 50 years that hip hop uh, has been invented. Been 50, yeah. 50? 50 year anniversary for hip hop. Yeah. 50. Yeah. Kind of feel like it's been around longer than that, bro. Yeah, it seems you would you would think that's what I that's what I thought it, it was like, you know, it's a lot older than 50. Yeah, I, I want to say it's been longer than 50, bro. Depends on what but, you would consider hip hop. I mean, yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right about that one as well. You're right, though. You're also right. But it it isn't celebrated like amongst. Why isn't this shit on like TV being celebrated? Like, yeah. See, uh, well, I mean, I guess it is in the hip hop community. Maybe, maybe. Mm. But I ain't, I haven't really paid attention to the hip hop community lately because I'm kind of upset with the the, the women hip hop. Well, women rap, I should say. You mean I like Sukiana? And yeah, I ain't digging Suki. <laughs> I ain't digging Sex Red. Oh, hell no. Nah. She look like one of the worms from uh, Men in Black. <laughs> but, um, nigga said, uh, I mean, nigga, Ice, Ice nigga can said get away she look with like it. young dog. Ice can get away with it because I ain't go front. Some of her shits make you bop. They make you bop, but she don't be talking about nothing, though. Uh, Not a damn thing. Bitches don't talk about them, but they nah. pussy. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, my girl, Big Glow. I fuck with Glow. I just don't like her voice sometimes. Glow. Yeah. Oh yeah, I, for I, sure. I like for Glow sure. without. I like Glow without her rapping. I like talking. What do you mean? I, I feel like I could talk to her all day. But when she go to rapping, I think I gotta go away, bro. Because I, I, I don't, I don't, yeah. Yo, big biggest dude the one that hurt his Nah. Yeah, come on. Nah, that voice the voice go kill me, bro. Do it again. 
<laughs> and the biggest one is me. Like, bro, what are you doing? Like, come on, <laughs> like, bro. I, I, I fuck with glow though. I fuck yeah. with glow. I fuck with glow personality. But yeah. That that rapping voice, little mama. I mean, hell, he made more money than me. So who the fuck I gotta say, right? Yeah. Uh, shout out to you. Oh, for sure, for sure. Applause to them, shit. They damn, they went viral, didn't they? Yo, I uh, seen some shit on the motherfucking internet the other day. Uh, this girl was in the hospital. Um, because this girl was in the hospital because she got hit in the face with a brick at a, uh, I guess, wherever she was at, the club or whatever. Okay. And, uh, dude hit her in the face with a brick because i guess you know she ain't giving his number or her number that's what she said yeah yeah and she was like all these people out here watching and whatnot but at what point in life did us men get like that to where we gotta pick up a fucking brick to hit a woman in the face because we can't get a goddamn number like all these goddamn fishes out here boy you better go cash your line somewhere else my mm. boy well, but, I seen that shit. Let me tell you though. Did you see uh, the video? Yeah, I, yeah. Like um, the actual brick video of her getting bonged in the face with that goddamn brick like that. I don't want to say that per se, but I saw a video of her uh, slapping some white guy, like right before that happened. Oh. They say, yeah. They said she was only telling one side of the story. It was a, it was a younger uh, black kid. I don't know how old this dude was. Came out and was like, yeah, I was there. Like I was, you know. But uh, she had all of that shit coming. She was like attacking white people, and like, yeah. So that's why my man smacked her. Supposedly, with a brick though, my dude. Yeah, he still took it too far with a brick. A brick. A brick. I'm saying, okay, okay. I eh, I ain't gonna say yeah. You, you should have smacked her, but she but with begging, a she was begging for something. A brick though. She was begging for something. A brick. At what point in life did us men get to the point we gotta hit a bitch in the face with a brick because she antagonizing us? He could have I mean, shot the bitch. I mean, yeah, he damn sure could have. He could have shot her, stabbed her, taser, all the above. Yeah. So. Yeah. But a brick, bro. A brick. My nigga, I ain't never been mad enough to hit a bitch in the face with a brick, yo. She, a nigga, ain't, yeah. Ain't no- nah, a nigga, yeah. A nigga, hell the fuck, yeah. But not a, not a girl. Nah, I mean, I call my sister and be like, yo. Come hit this bitch for me. Yeah. You feel me? <laughs> I'm with that. A brick, though. You trying to motherfucking knock a skull through a nostril. Oh. <laughs> oh <my. laughs> a skull through a nostril. I mean, <laughs> shit, you, you seen that bit head, you seen her face. <laughs> That shit. Let's go was hey, through the nostril. Hey, that shit was out let's, here like this. <laughs> let's go was through the nostril, nigga. What <laughs> the fuck you mean? <laughs> fuck she grew mean. by. She grew a whole nother ear back here like this. <laughs> nah, no um, plan though, bro. For real, yo. Yeah, I don't. I don't. I don't think I would like. Hey, up, no. you heard? You heard about this goddamn hurricane that coming though? Hurricane Lee. Lee. Hurricane <laughs> Lee. Come on, Lee. Come on, Lee. They said uh, it was going to be a Cat 5 yeah. by what, tomorrow? Tomorrow? Yeah, because um, it was supposed to merge with some other hurricane that was out there or something, right? Something uh, like that. Oh, um, look. It was supposed to be a Cat 5. Uh huh. Supposed to be, brother. I mean, we'd have survived one already. Well, four. It was that month five. I don't recall, but I do remember, like, the days. Damn. That's just pretty rough. But I was something in that about, like, something about, and I was just saying this today, something about uh, being in a storm, like, 
Like, I want to be in a situation like, uh, please don't judge me for this, where some real horrible shit happens, but not no, where nobody I love dies. I mean, that was the one last one, though. But I understand, keep yeah, going. Like, the lights are out, so there's no internet or whatever, and it, you got to live, like, I, not in the cold, Joe. Just not in the cold. I can't do this in the cold. But uh, I, I'm sure I could, but. You know what I'm saying? You like, know, nigga, it was like that in the last hurricane that we had. The, the Not the very last one, but the very last bad one that we had. That it was, was a category. Pretty intense. For, I guess it was the Irene, was it? Florence or Irene was one I of them? I think so, bro. I'm it not was 100%. one of them. Bro, we, we go through a lot of goddamn hurricanes, bro. But yeah. it was Florence or Irene was on a, one of them. But we really did. Yeah. Like, motherfuckers was up on the water. Like oh no, see like niggas was I, like I ain't trying. People died in their attics. Nobody. Niggas died in their no attics way. and everything. Like bro, you, you got water coming all the way up that high in, in your house. Why would you go in your attic and there's no see, way out? See, and that's the part where I don't want to happen to people. But some it some about happening. the the uh, I can't find the right word for it. Like the adrenaline. Yeah, th- that's the word adrenaline. Look at me being a Look at adrenaline me. junkie for it. Nah, it's just it, it just sounds cool sometimes. I ain't gonna lie. Uh, being put under that pressure and shit like that. Yeah, I like being put under that type. It ain't pressure. coming out like. Yeah, like yeah. I, being being have to make a dramatic decision and having to take care of yourself in like a natural disaster or some shit like that. Rush. Yeah, yeah. I can understand what you're saying. Like I, uh-huh. I like I like that shit too. Mm-hmm. The only thing I can say I do not like about no motherfucking hurricane is the winds, bro. I can't deal with the winds. It's too much shit. I'm a little person too, so the shit might blow me away. <laughs> <laughs> might blow this me nigga. away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know but, I I would, I don't want to be in, I don't want to be in a tornado or nothing. Like nah, that. nah, I'm scared of them, bro. Yeah, that ain't that I'm ain't the type of drama I want in my life. But 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 around your way though, you do you do go through tornadoes around your way. The re- this re- recently there was a tornado. I just so happened to be in New Bern when New Bern when it was happening. But my brother uh, Ron got caught up in that shit. Damn, he good. Yeah, 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 yeah. They was, they was in fear for his life. Shit, he ain't seen no cows though, dude. In, in the wind. This nigga talking about Twister. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This nigga talking about Twister, y'all. So look at this nigga. Hold on, hold on to the camera, man. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga got some type of wine filtration Brad, system. For the ones that know, it's a decanter. Okay. So y'all know, man. Give me a drink real quick, Just too, man. Filter your shit out, you know? Yeah, y'all. I used to be, uh, I used to be sipping this, 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 this killer. This the killer. But um, that's how you do it right there. That's physics, my brother. But um, yeah, man, I, I had to put the tequila down for a little bit and go back to my grapes. I was a real grape drinking fan for a long time. Before it was tequila, it was uh whiskey. But before whiskey, it was wine. The real wine. Yeah, with the cork in it, but. You know what I'm saying? I'll take a screw top, but I'd rather take a cork. But, yo, welcome back to motherfucking Area Codes, man. We're here, yo, giving y'all... Area Codes. Area, area Codes. We're here, we're here, we're here. But this time, special guest is just us two, man. So, we got everything right here. Every and anything, any kind of questions that us two have to come up with. We got a long time to talk between us, and it's gonna be a long time. For sure, for sure, for sure. But the crazy thing is, right? Mm. It's the first time. Oh, hey, so, hey, 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 so, uh, hey, Jew. <laughs> hey, Jew. I should go. This, this shit right here better than y'all shit right now. Oh, Jew. damn. Uh, and, and it's just us two. We ain't even said nothing yet. Oh. But he agreeing too. 
Look at your other host. I ain't said, look. Your other I host. Ain't said a motherfucker. Your night. other host agreeing already. It's, all right, Drew. <laughs> 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 Did you ever learn cursive as a kid, bro? Yeah, third grade, bro. I, you I, use it now. I was one of them kids that mastered that shit, yo. Know? So you uh-uh. might say cursive. Like you, s- you know that saying, uh, you don't use it, you lose it. Boy, my shit look like a goddamn doctor uh, handwriting. Yeah, I you, lost it. I you, lost you can't, you can't write it the same uh-uh. ever again. No, you can't. I'm trying to tell you. No. But that is shit. My my actual signature is like really scribbly as hell. So you you have messy handwriting though. Uh, as far as not writing in uh, cursive. Yeah, not writing in cursive, but regular. Uh yeah, yeah I got I got decent. Well, not tried, but when I don't know. That shit messy than a motherfucker. Nah, my shit probably cleaner than yours. My handwriting probably cleaner than yours. I doubt it. I'm Bro, a lefty. I, te- I teach handwriting. Like I do for, everything I in my whole life. For a living. You teach handwriting. Yep. That's why these kids' hands is fucked up. You now. got me fucked up that's in a that's bag that's of potato chips. That's you got me that's fucked that's up in a bag of potato chips. God and we ain't damn, the lays. Man. We the Doritos. You the thick chips. Okay. So you know what I'm saying. You coming with that man. shit? Man, man. Well, yeah, yeah. We've been going for shit. We recorded it two weeks ago. Yeah, it just ain't out yet. It'll be out this week. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? yeah. We damn sure did. But mm-hmm. it's, it seemed like it's been that long, but it really haven't. That's what's crazy. Hey, uh, you a Facebooker, man, right? Right. Mm. Recently, recently. What have recently, you been on the most? Recently, I've been on Facebook the most, I'm going to say, just because I'm just to watch videos. But I like Snapchat more than anything. Snapchat. Because everybody Snapchat. on my snap is like people I actually sat down with, had a conversation with, ate food with, smoked with, drank with, versus the random person on Snapchat or Instagram that I just want to follow it for. Instagram is more private for people that actually really know me for who I am, and I can post anything up there and not hear nothing back or get kicked off or sent to like jail or, or not jail but you know social media jail or whatnot mm-hmm. so i feel like snapchat is where i be at where i feel more comfortable at but facebook i just be up there posting videos so i'm gonna say i've been up there most recently so facebook yeah but i love snapchat though snapchat better it's more profit yeah somewhat well, Social media ain't private, really. So you ever you ever been on somebody page, and like you see them post all the time, they be like hella funny, like all they post be funny as hell. But then come to find out, all they do is copy and paste somebody else. Yeah, yeah. That, yeah. I, to, I've always Them people have always Crossed me It's corny Once I find out You doing that Like Yeah Like if you make it seem like Just share that person shit I know somebody Who do that And a nigga is corny In real life <laughs> Yeah But when he posts that shit It still be corny Cause it's like I can picture that person Saying You know them personally Yeah so it's like Bro you not Nah that ain't you Nah Come on brother <laughs> I, that's, that's be exactly. yourself yeah. be yourself yeah but I, I just never could understand the people who that who do that like straight up every post they post and at first you know i'll be thinking like oh yeah this that was hilarious oh that i was hilarious then i i see other people who have actually shared that post that had a bunch of shares 
but then they just decided to go. I'm gonna type this out or copy and paste. It's, okay, it's corny. okay, okay. I'm gonna copy and paste this as my status. Oh, okay. So that's a different story. You know, that's corny as fuck versus yeah. somebody just sharing that shit that somebody else already said. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Y'all can be feeling the same shit, but for that person to go write that shit out personally and then post that shit with the same goddamn yeah. Uh, they might reword it a little bit, but either way. People, but then again, what if that what if that post what if it's you know how we be talking and the shit be like, all right, cool, we talking about dog houses right now. Okay. And next thing you know, we go to the internet, the fucking dog houses pop up. What if that post come out, we read it, and then we actually see another post like that on our feed because that person made a similar post of conda like that. That makes sense, but that makes sense. It's just like a yeah, yeah. They just so happen to no, no, gotta, have the same shit. Uh, that happens, I'm sure. But whoever you know, damn, that happens. I'm sure it happens. You see, you ain't never thought about that shit like that. I didn't till now, but yeah, that happens. Either or, if you if you know you see a motherfucker post that and you go, huh, nah, copy paste, and it's funny as hell. You trying to get your shares up or something, or you're, you're, you're trying to get some type of clout. That's corny. Yeah, sure. I know some people that I didn't, I still don't consider them in person to be corny, and I found out they was doing that one day. I was like, oh, okay. Nah, I personally. Know a person I ain't gonna say no names No I don't hurt no feelings you know? Because I think that's just their they say their, their, their 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 demeanor Because they was always A corny person mm. But Yeah hey, dog holla I don't even know what to say bro Oh well, niggas is corny. Yo, so do you do you really think like in the future people gonna be like part robotic, like robotic arm? Well, I guess we already got that shit now. That's what's crazy. Yeah, they're already. That is that. wow. All right, yeah, I guess we do got like the prosthetic arms and shit that's robotic and whatnot. Damn. Did you see the neuronic shit? This was it, Elon. Was talking about doing and they're gonna they're gonna have to do like chipping your brain type shit. Yeah. They already got some shit the way it's a chip in your uh wrist to get food or chipping your wrist to get in a bank, uh just to do certain things. They already that have that. Crazy. The only reason why I say that cause that movie The Creator coming out. You, you see the oh, trailers for that? Bruh. I'm ready to see that shit. I got a newfound respect yeah. for dude too, cause that's uh Denzel Washington's son, and I never fucking knew that, bro. Who? The the main star and the creator. I I never knew that was Denzel Washington's son. Let me pull his name up, but I swear to God, I never knew that was his son, bro. Okay, the creator is gonna be fine. Yes, it is. Uh, I always get hyped for movies like this like robotic movies or zombie something about zombie shit john david washington okay i'll be on the that is denzel that. washington's son yo he's been in so many fucking movies it's so many movies i didn't like him as an actor in the beginning but when i found out he was denzel's son and i went back and watched certain movies i, I found i gave him a newfound respect and i was like bro and then I watched the different roles he played too. I was like, "Yeah, this dude, nice, bro." And he had like our next generation of actors growing up to watch, yeah. even though he's I mean he's older, but he is in our generation. Dizel is in the older folks' generation. Our parents, yeah, you know what I'm saying, yeah, and shit like that. Yeah, but, they saw him when they was young. Right. He, he grew up as the, whatever. But yo, that's that motherfucking dude's son, bro. That is Denzel Washington's son. And I, I had no clue that this, man had a son acting. This guy right here. When you see this motherfucker, you be like, yo, ain't no fucking way, son. Do you watch Jimmy Fallon and shit? Him. I'm not a. I'm not a 
not aware of this. That's his son, dog. <laughs> okay. That's cool. <laughs> That's, That's cool. wild, bro. That's cool. Niggas, I, I didn't fucking know. Is he? Like, have you seen any other movies of this guy? Yes. Guy? Yes. And he, like, he... Can you see? Can yes. you be like, oh, that's the Black Clansman, that's your pop Black son. Clansman tenant, Black the Malcolm and Maria. That's the creator that's about to come out. He was also in Ballers, Amsterdam, Beckett. Like, bro, this dude be in some shit, man. Like a whole lot of movies that we done seen, but we ain't even fucking really know. I didn't know until. <laughs> I know the motherfucker. I ain't gonna say that I know him. Bro. I done seen <laughs> multiple movies that this man been in, and I told you that I didn't like him in the beginning, but I had to go back and watch and pay attention. Okay. Because yeah. some of some of his shit, he he ain't really played like big roles, but he did play some big roles. Yeah. Well, yeah. Some about uh, the movies where. The 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 f- it's a dystopian future. Like if I said that word right, dystopian future. Like the world is like fucked. Yeah, poor is even poor. Like Ready Player One. Yeah. Like uh, futuristic or uh, zombie movies. It's just very intriguing. Apocalyptic. That's the, that's the exact word. Post apocalyptic shits. Uh, it, it it always intrigues me to see them kind of movies. Like those, like the Book of Eli type movie, you know, or like Mad Book Max. Of Eli. And all that. Did you watch Mad Max? Mad Max. I Boy, want to say I watched Mad. I was damn sure playing the game. I don't watch a lot of movies, bro. A lot of movies. Mad Max. Damn, you think you'll be able to survive in like the, like the zombie apocalypse type shit? You oh, really man. think you'll be able to survive? Like, with your life going on well, right now, do you really think you'll be able to survive? Bro, my question to that, because I always pick, I always pictured it like, well, where would I hit first? You got kids. Yeah. Like, baby. I always thought to build a bunker. Like, me and my brother had that conversation. Like, where would we build it? Like, but yeah, I request the answer to your question, though. If this shit pop off tomorrow morning, like, but you <laughs> have to give me what zombies are we getting? We ain't talking about Resident Evil. We talking about Walking Dead zombies. We chilling with. We staying with the hey, Walking bro, Dead zombies. I'm we staying living. with the Walking Dead zombies, bro. I ain't no way you telling me I ain't living. I got guns. I got. I got shotgun, pistol, rifle. Uh. <laughs> I got a, a means of transportation. I got a generator in case my power goes out. I got uh, okay. uh, I, I don't have enough ammo right now, but you know, I'm I'll take off and pull up to somewhere. But my dude, you can't have a generator. You can't generation. <laughs> you can't have a generator going because of the noise. The noise gonna bring Real the shit. zombies. Check you out. Well, and I will set a fort down. I will set set up traps for these motherfuckers. Like. Ain't no way I'm not I'm not surviving it, shit, bro. Yeah, I think I'll oh. be. I think I'll be good right now. Think bro. it'd be good. I think I'll be good right now. Like, like no. When I say right now, like shit go, boom. Right now, the news, everything just I shut down. The I, news go. I survive for about a cool. My food supply wise. And where you looting from first? Like where we where you looting from? If we if you started right now, shit shut down. I got a little thing on me, you feel me? Mm-hmm. But you're damn right, Jack. <laughs> you're damn right, Jack. Yes, sir. Where, where's the first place we running? Like where are we going from here right now? Honestly, I'm gonna go to my family. That's my, my mom. That's, that's my first thought. Go ahead. My mom, my grandfather, and my First, my grandfather's right here, so that's gonna be my immediate thought. All right, cool. I know my mom is gonna be all right because she's over there with her boyfriend. My grandmother's also by herself as well, so I'm gonna think about them as well. Oh, man, my grandmother is right here in the same community as well as me, and my grandfather as well. I can walk to both of them. That's the beauty of my life right now. I got both of my grandparents, and I can walk to them right now. And I chip with them on, not no every day, but I'm not walking. 
I mean, shit. Uh, I, know, I'm walking, drive that car. I got two vehicles. I'm walking I got that. two vehicles. We gonna drive that motherfucker either way. And look, but, but my I'm family is my immediate thought, though. You know, yeah, I'm with that. You gotta. How you going outside? Like, how you, how you moving? My dude, if that shit definitely pop off tomorrow, I got my guns on me and I got my sword in the back, and I'm moving. They say samurai black. Yeah, most definitely. I'm going to lock my house up even though niggas going to break in. I'm going to try to hide my shit and come yeah. back for it. See, man, I got I got shit. The board, I got my fix. windows up. I got motherfucking... Yeah, yeah. Bro, yeah. That shit going to be I, lit, <laughs> nigga. That <laughs> shit going to be lit. <laughs> I'm ready to put you know, a knife through a nigga's head bro, with You know what's crazy? Because right just like on the show... You're not only worried about zombies, yo. Nah, you got to worry about people. People. People are the most dangerous motherfuckers, yeah. man. This is where they murder, murder, most. it ain't murder no more. You're just getting killed, my nigga. You people know? are the most dangerous motherfuckers. Yeah, bro. especially so. once everybody realizes they are the walking dead, so. walking dead zombies. We can outrun these niggas. Yeah, they can. Now, don't get me wrong. Them walking dead zombies can put up a good little. Bro, you can't get scratched. No mm-hmm. bit. Mhm. That I mean, my dude. Bit nor scratch, whatever. You can't get scratched nor bit. Uh-uh. You get scratched a bit, you're turning into a zombie. That's the Walking Dead. For sure. I mean, and Bro, and, and, and if and if I get bit or scratch, I'm gonna advise you, Brooke. Hey, just shoot me in the head. Yeah, bro. go ahead, do me dirty, bro. Because if you don't do me dirty, I'm gonna do your ass dirty. I'm gonna go ahead and tell you right now. <laughs> don't <laughs> even, bro, don't even hes- no hesitate. We gotta talk about this first for you, shoot nah. me. Bro, right. let me uh, tell everybody this? I love y'all. No, 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 no. What? Right. If we together, bro, and we together doing the zombie apocalypse, right? Uh-huh. And I get bit in my hand, yeah. chop my fucking hand off. Straight like that. Don't go ahead and shoot. Don't shoot me in my fucking head. <laughs> chop my hand off. Okay. So I can have a living goddamn chance. All right. We <laughs> got this that, recorded, though, so we good. Bro. Uh, after that, yeah. if a nigga is turning, go ahead and do me in. Okay. Because you don't do me in, I'm doing everybody in. <laughs> I'm doing sleep. everybody in. I'm a sleep, nigga. <laughs> Like, <laughs> obviously, you gonna try, man. I'm putting that motherfucking forty in your scalp, boy. But I'm knocking your dreads off. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, bro. I'm sorry. Don't start having a seizure around me. <laughs> Don't start having a seizure around. But on some real, like all the all the zombie movies and shit like that. Yeah. Even, even like, I say. What's your well, favorite, a, yo? Zombie movie? Yeah. I got one. Resident Evil. Uh, just because, like, I grew what? up playing. I, just because I grew up playing a game and watching the movies come out and all that and, like, seeing what? my childhood games okay. play out. Oh, I love the game. I used to love the game on Nintendo 64. Yeah. Uh, but I don't want what's the one? Life, what's though? the one where they was in the mall? The Walking Dead. No. no, it's not Walking Dead. Cause Van Rames in it. Damn, that's my shit. That's my Van favorite Ra- shit. I can't. I'm Van sorry. Rames in that movie. Yes, bro. I R- know what you're R- talking R- about. Right? Van Rames ain't dead. Wait, no, he's. <laughs> you what? lying, bro? Van Rames ain't dead, bro. He ain't dead, nigga. I'm walking around with two of them, with one of them in my I pocket. Bro. R- Don't R- stop playing, bro. Hold up. He ain't dead. Hey, in the mission, right quick, cause niggas gotta niggas gotta it's find 20, out right quick. A lot of niggas been dying, bro. That shit's sad. He ain't dead. <laughs> I almost sound like a fucking fool, bro. I said, "All right, yo, if this nigga ain't dead, I'm gonna feel like an idiot." He ain't fear. Yeah, this nigga is alive. Oh, I'm oh, sorry, bro. I'm putting death on this, man. So, right. <laughs> this man was yeah, born on May 12, 1953 up. at the 8. He is 64 years old. I'm sorry. Hey, I mean, put uh, Oh, I seen, death on I this, seen Dead in, a, in Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning in Part 2. Oh, Garfield. shit. Who but, died this year then? What? Act- that, uh, was, that was Debo, bro. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Not this year, but it was some uh, sometime in the twenty twenties. Where were we, yo? Favorite zombie movie. 
But oh. I gotta take that back. Shaun of the Dead. Shaun Dawn of the, of the Dead. Dawn, Dawn, of, the Dawn dead. of the Dead, bro. It was Dawn of the Dead. Shaun of the Dead is mine. Favorite. Now I sit here and think about it. I do appreciate Resident Evil just because of his Shaun video of games. the Dead. You mean yes. the 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 parody joint? Nah, Shaun. Well, well, I guess it was like a parody of supposed to be like a scary. Well, excuse me, like a comedy zombie. The London joint, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Cause yeah, that was a parody of Dawn of the Dead. It was. I thought. I don't know. It, yo, it's a lot of zombie movies. Zombie Land, I like Zombie Land too. I fuck with that shit. Zombie Land was cool, but nothing better than Dawn of the Dead. And they could run and shit. That's what made them scarier. Nah, I still think I would survive them. So what zombies I do still, you want if that shit would happen? Oh, definitely like uh, Walking Dead or some slow. But them shit. motherfuckers coming. The motherfuckers coming packs. I mean, yeah, thirty foes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm, hopping, in, no I'm hopping in the car and I'm running some shit over. They come in the 30 foes, cuz. I'm running some shit over. Like. And then it kind of makes sense, though, because the bigger cities got the bigger populations, but in the woods and shit, you got things that just pop out of nowhere because it's the woods, bro. So you never fucking know. It's a whole. It, it, it's... All right, so if it was to happen, where would you want to be at? Like, held up at? Oh, uh, we live in we live in New Bern and Vanceboro area. So if that shit was to happen right now, where would you go at right now? I I prefer to be right at my home. I know what I got, yo. I would prefer to be home with my kids and my girl. I hold the fort down first. I would go looting. Like, dude, we have to. Everybody's gonna hit the store for food. The last of it. Especially yes. once that shit hit the news or, yes. you know, once it, man, everybody, you seen how shit go I around here. Right, I live right down the street from Walmart but and Target, they hear all, about everything. A, hear so. about a good hurricane coming, motherfuckers Ooh. go for the milk, the bread. The milk go spoiled, bro. Man. I don't know why they go for the fucking milk. Y'all niggas is stupid going for milk. If if you, <laughs> if you if, if not, please teach me something so, that I don't know. Because I know that milk go get spoiled. Within the first four days, when that power go out, could that refrigerator ain't gonna last. The, the, the freezer might. That refrigerator ain't gonna last. No. So tell me why y'all niggas going by all the milk. School me, please. <laughs> yeah, I, I I don't know, bro. Uh, but that's what motherfuckers do, so. I would go looting. I'm going for the can shit. Mm-hmm. When I do go, mm-hmm. when I do go hurricane shopping, of course I buy stuff to like bore my house up. But I always leave a spot out to where I can get out. It like something really does bad happen. Yeah. I need my water, of course. People don't know you can live off water longer than food. Live so people don't without know. live without food longer than water, right? No, you can live longer on water instead of food. Oh yeah, okay, yes, yes, okay. You said it. So right. I definitely need my water. Yeah, for sure. And once I got my water, I am looking for food that is not going to spoil that I can eat without being cold. Yeah. Hey, fuck, fuck the fuck the uh, the zombie apocalypse. All right, let's shit, we got a up. hurricane coming. Well, not, well, <laughs> that Gee, that's about to be that apocalypse too. right but, there, goddamn. Well, fuck the zombie apocalypse. What if the, we, our government gets overthrown? Some crazy shit happen, mm. right? And what if the first thing they go for is our power source, our water source? That's very apocalyptic too. Like, then what do we do? Like, as Americans, like, what happens at that point? Cause it ain't no zombies, but it's gonna be people in the streets killing each other. Okay, so as far as water source, you said? Yeah, they cut our water source. Yo, I watch a lot of survival movies and I'm not movies, but and TV our power shows. source. Fuck the power, and we don't need no power. I ain't gonna lie to you, we don't need no power. We got the sun and the moon. That's all we need. But as far as water source, I watch a lot of survival stuff, bro. <laughs> Give me a bamboo. You gotta live that shit, dog. Give me some bamboo. The only thing I don't know how to do right now is make fire. 
like literally like sticks and twigs, yeah. another stick and another stick or a bow action. Or I want the Boy Scouts. So you might know some. So scouts. she. <laughs> but <laughs> damn. Yeah, we can. Uh, yeah. As far as water though, you boy, you need to go find bamboo and uh some debris sticks. I got and bamboo leaves, in my back, y'all. Charcoal, my. all that. And you can filter that water right on out, and you'll be all right. You have water. <laughs> As he filters some shit right on out. Yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah, uh, I watch a lot of survival TV shows, bro. Cause I always think about that, man. Because, like, I really do feel like that shit go happen. It may not happen, like COVID, bro. It may not happen in like that kind of way, but. Mm-hmm. That shit might happen. COVID happened. Oh, well, the COVID supposed to hit again yeah, at the end of this month or sometime in October. Sure, you ready for it? But I, I, yeah, I mean, I mean, I'm essential. I'm, 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 I'm essential, so I, I gotta be ready for it. Yeah, I'm essential too. Yeah. Uh, Fuck all that shit. Give uh, me the, get, matter of fact, send my Lysol to my doorstep, uh, Lysol yeah, company. Just I'll, send me packs of it. Since oh, y'all got how that me. you did you catch it? Nah, I took the uh the vaccination, and if I did catch it, I was drinking so much alcohol, the, the, the damn <laughs> shit couldn't keep it. up with me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yo, I didn't so. I didn't vaccinate, and I uh, I caught that shit. Uh, when I tell you, but Ooh, how maybe you, you were doodling up. Man, I lost my sense, like smell, and taste. Are you still without it right and, now? I'm good. I've been I've been good since then. Since said what you do? No, keep it hot, yo. I shit. was throwing up and shitting at the same time. You was going out of both ends. That's yo, what that I shit it. was the craziest shit ever, yo. Like you was losing but, all your bodily fluid. Bro. Yeah, I, and I couldn't. I was yeah. You had that Peter light on deck. Had it all. Yes, sir. Uh, That's what I'm talking about. Man. Nigga, you had that Pedialyte on deck. I'm trying to tell you. that Pedialyte. I don't know what it is, bro. Since, since we was kids. I don't know what it is. <laughs> but, yeah. Uh, and that ginger ale. But, uh, yeah, I'm glad I didn't get the vaccine, though. Know? But they came out and said that that shit didn't even work. Well, at that point, I had to get it because uh, I was in a relationship and we was going to Australia. Mm-hmm. But Australia cut their borders off because of COVID. You ain't get, you yeah, get. they said none of y'all mother. If you ain't from Australia, your ass ain't getting in here. So we don't care it's if you shot, got the damn. vaccine or not. You ain't getting in here. Yeah. <laughs> so that came with like, damn, I should have never got a shot. But I mean, it it it, it kind of, I mean, it helped on the low because we went to other places and did some other shit. But. Certain places wouldn't let you in unless you was vaccinated too. You had to bring your car with you. So I mean that was good too. But either way, I didn't get sick from the vaccination. Or any of that, I was I had to like the little sluggish moments afterwards. But I'm a person that move around a lot. Yeah. Like I like to stay active. So yeah. I, I didn't let that sluggish shit make me yeah. lay in the bed. Uh, Smoking weed helped me too, yo. Yeah. I'm gonna say that too. It helped me get over that shit. I'm gonna say that too. Yeah. Uh, pretty soon that shit will be legal here. I think so, man. Yeah. I mean, we got CBD here, so. Yeah. 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 That boy got that knife stuck in that dude's whole head like that. You ever seen uh, lots of shit like this? You ever seen something like uh? A rock or something on TV And they'd be like Oh yeah this rock is like 60 million years old And Well they find like bones and be like This was This was alive two twenty hundred years ago You know what I'm saying mm-hmm. <laughs> no, You know what I'm saying what They understand say a bunch saying. of years Well how the fuck they determine something like that I don't know Like I have no clue about how them scientists or archaeologists people determine how long ago that shit is. Uh, I got a scientist that's a friend, yo. So I need to ask him that question. Yeah, that just don't make sense because. I but not only were you not alive seventy years ago, 
Like, the, how? What type of like? How do y'all know? Like that shit don't even make any sense. Like, how do you know that's one of the dinosaurs and shit you, like that? You see the shit that I uh, shared on the internet the other day with um. It was talking about uh, 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 the blood of Jesus Christ that the they found the blood. Oh, I think yeah. I I seen that shit. You think that shit true? No. You don't think so? The official blood of Jesus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But it said it had well, how many chromosomes? We got what twenty three or twenty four or something like that. Don't get me lying. We got twenty three or twenty four chromosomes or something like that. We uh, get a certain amount from our father, and we get a certain amount from our mother, but. This amount of chromosomes, he got way more from his mother than his father. So that's why I guess like the features on Jesus Christ was like all super cute and gorgeous type. Like you dig what I'm saying? Godly like features. You feel me? Uh, like a woman. I mean, we think women are gods. God, goddess, excuse me. So, yeah, but. Yeah, yo. So this, I don't. I ain't gonna say. Nowadays, bro. Like now, like how the world is now. Like people just now finding out weird shit about people. I ain't gonna say it. Probably wasn't his blood, but it was probably some like high power person type blood back then. I ain't gonna say Jesus Christ. I mean, could have been because There's some ancient shit. Because they they said that uh, they found it in like a little box of I'm not no whole spiritual ass person like that. So I don't know the actual names, but I know the descriptions when the picture. But on the box is like and all on shit. the box is like two eagle or well, two birds facing each other some weird ass shit it sounds it looked like some egyptian ass shit so how the fuck is it gonna be jesus christ if it's egyptian but then again wasn't he like over there with the jerusalem people and all that too but don't get me to i'm we've been recorded i don't, don't want to say no shit that's completely false like i did I earlier say, with old boy saying r.i.p like hey, i ain't that bro i talking, live bro. i mean, <laughs> I don't know, bro. Yeah, you're talking, bro. I mean, hey, uh, hell, this, this is our first time, so people don't know about our conversation that yeah. we have. This our conversation that we really do be yeah. having, like, yeah, this man. for real. We live in the learn. Learn you live. Whatever the fuck that mean, man. But I gotta watch that video again. I gotta watch that video again because. Yeah. I saw that, though. Uh, I don't I, think, I ain't gonna say it ain't true. I'm gonna just say it's some high power ass person from back in the day. Yeah. That's why I'm going to say Some sacred blood Yeah niggas like, had, Then niggas had that gold yeah. Wrapped around them All day every day Well you know we got UFOs and shit Yeah oh, yeah, most definitely If mm-hmm. you don't think so You stupid Cause we ain't the only ones On this planet In this big ass galaxy no, like that Never have been <laughs> Never fucking have been Like bro We ain't even discovered 5% of the damn 5% of the ocean yeah, And Ain't no way Ain't no way. 5% Look, People are missing like that That's very 5% is very minute And we've searched a lot of ocean <laughs> A lot bro As far as I'm concerned A whole lot of ocean And they a go lot. 5% that's, Five. Can, Your mind can't even fathom how much if They're talking 5% I'm Five. sure they search miles and miles And miles and miles of ocean Can't even go that deep not our body and not even submarines mm-hmm. can't even go that deep. So, the fuck is down there for real? Another community that we don't know about? It gotta be. Another community that we don't know about. Excuse me, by the way. I just burped like a motherfucker. It gotta be. Dang, my boy. Hey, yo, what if that shit happened to you in real life, yo? What if, what if, I understand that you know what i'm saying man we on a podcast but what if you having sex with a girl and she try to kill you while you having sex bro what do you mean when she when i mean like right now on the tv like the afro samurai shit he was you know what i'm saying having sex with shorty and she, she was an assassin obviously and she tried to kill him 
what if that shit would have happened to you like a girl say if you like some secret spy ass dude you know what i'm saying and you're on a mission right uh-huh. and you're just having fun you go to a bar and whatnot bring a girl back to your room and she try to kill you first off i'm a spy mm-hmm. i'm expecting a bit to try to kill me Nah, but uh, I, <laughs> all you can do is try to kill the bitch back. That's <laughs> 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 what you're supposed to do. <laughs> <laughs> no, really. What, what are you supposed to do, man? What are you, what are you supposed to do, man? <laughs> Defend myself. I don't know, bro. Like, I, don't, <laughs> I don't know. Yo, what if she really did like you, though? But she got to kill me. But but in the midst of it, like how it is right now, in the midst of y'all getting it on, she tried to kill you. You stopped it, That's but it tough. was other people trying. To, but it was other people trying to kill you too. But she didn't really want to because she liked you. You know why she she tried to kill? But that bit, that she dead in the door now nah, right now though. She don't. I hit a murked off on her. No, nah, no, nah, the other oh. people did. Now he mad. Well, you know why she murked and off? Well, she mad. tried to kill him though, right? He, he mad his pussy did. <laughs> So Hold on, he's about to get But you know why, it's the though, bro? If he was hitting it right, she wouldn't have tried to kill him. That's why she had regrets, right, then, brother. <laughs> that's and he, my, he won't hitting it right. Look, that's, that's a, why she tried to kill him in the first place. Hey, brother, that's a black man that was just giving some pound town to a white woman, and she loved that and had contemplation <laughs> about doing her job. And 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 like, look, got you know what? That's life shit right though. That uh, assassin tried to come there and kill this girl. Now, now he mad at in the motherfucker. Okay. So he about to go out and kill all these niggas. That's what. The, okay. He, all of. Them. Shout out to the. Uh, the anime, anime creators and anime you know watchers. Hey, you seen? You seen him? He was, he was giving her that good thing right though. You seen it? You seen the clips? Don't act you be in front of the camera like you see that shit if you ain't want to. He just watch some anime porn, y'all. She trying to kill this nigga. He won't Shout hit out to anime, bro. He won't hit the That's right. adult adult anime. Okay. And he finna cut everybody's head off with that sword. Back in the day, they used to say the anime niggas was like. Weird. What yeah, is your yeah, take yeah, on yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's okay, man. Everybody don't understand us, but the, for the people that do understand us, they know that we some real ass people out here, and we love sexy women. Boom. Like, so what? You eat your earwax. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You still cool. Yeah. So what, bro? You're still cool. You to know, me, like, man. It, 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 it's it's things in life that people don't understand. Yeah. You know, earwax can be good sometimes. Right? Sorry that he's a square. You okay. get. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, he don't come back like that. He don't understand. He don't understand. See, the airways got some protein to it. You know, he's a square. <laughs> you know. <laughs> oh shit! He's not round. Yeah, they, uh, he ain't round around the edges. He uh, point like, blank. He sweet. point blank with the box. You know what I'm saying? Ninety uh, degree angle head okay. ass little boy. All right, I'll take it. You know what I'm saying? He ain't obtuse out here. He a whole ninety. My butt snap. <laughs> what was that? He put him in that earwax. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so what? Oh. Now that's how they used to try to make uh, uh, anime niggas back in the day. Nah, they did though. Nah, I mean some people still do because. They they think about niggas be dressing up and all that I mean, shit. I dress up in a goddamn Dragon Ball Z costume right now. I would have my goddamn helmet on, but I got my hair done. So <laughs> yeah, see, see, he wore a helmet. He said a helmet. I'm in a whole nother mode when I'm in a helmet though. Okay, you wear that yeah. when you game. Yo, I should yo. You know what? You That's brought a whole. gonna fuck around, and get you killed in Call of Duty. You brought, I you damn right. I can't hear a damn thing. <laughs> <laughs> can't oh, hear yeah, a damn mean, thing. That's all for ego. But you should, you should stream though. Nah. Why not? You play. Like you got, you got internet. Stream. 
Put you a wanna, camera on you and stream with yourself in the camera. I like gaming because it's pretty that's easy a sense too. of relaxation, yo. Right. I, I don't want no money from that. I feel like if I have to get money from that, I am making that a priority. Okay. Gaming is not a priority to me. Okay. Um, I am a man that will get the fuck up and do some shit or go somewhere. But I do like the game. And when I say I like the game... I like the game. I can sit down for hours, mm-hmm. have my drink, have my smoke, and relax. The best part about gaming is sitting down and enjoying yourself talking with your friends, yo. Mm. And screaming at the TV at these fuck ass motherfucking gamers that do some dumb ass shit. <laughs> Or try to come at you like they some gangsta ass motherfuckers and get their head blown in on card. And then you talk your shit. And then you can hear them be mad as fuck, dude. Yeah. That's the satisfaction right there, bro. Mm. I don't care about you. Never had a white, be- white boy tune in. Nigger, nigger, nigger. Damn right. I'm a whole <laughs> bunch of them. And I am. You see the skin color? I am. <laughs> Guess what? Your mama likes. <laughs> oh. Shit. And guess what? Nowadays, they can hear you say all that. And they be mad as fuck. But yeah, I like I, I like the point you made, though. It's you relaxing. don't want to look at it as a part. Did you know that uh, it was a. Uh, Post I saw that it says studies show, whatever studies are, that uh, playing playing the game relieves just as much stress as going to see a therapist, if it not does, more. It does, I, I ain't gonna say it does, but a part of I never been to therapy, but I've I never been to therapy, but a, who I am right now. I've sat down and had deep conversations with my friends right now because I'm more open to communicate and talk about whatever. And I I am willing to hear the criticism from my friends and whatnot because that's what's going to make me a better person. So I've never been to therapy, but I can understand where that comes from because I'm not. I can sit down and be angry as hell all day. Don't show it. Get on the game, express myself, and I'd be okay later on today. I done went to my therapist. I done talked to my therapist, which is the game, expressed myself to the game, yeah. and now I'm okay. Yeah. <laughs> the, yeah. the TV is a whole bunch of bitch ass motherfuckers. Yeah. <laughs> you ain't shit. <laughs> and you can't see me, ass niggas. <laughs> yeah, I get that. I get and after that. that. I be stressed for leaving at the same time. Mm-hmm. How yelling at the top of your, uh, your lungs at somebody you don't know. So women, when your man is gaming, just just let him yell at the TV. No, just, public service announcement. Just let him do it. Just let him yell at the TV. Yo. You better be it's, happy it's, that nigga staying home. <laughs> yep. Not yelling at you. And he damn sure won't even be on his phone for hours. Won't be on his phone for hours when he's gaming. <laughs> so but he'll still to? have his face on the screen, you know. Women want that, that UT, that quality time. That's why I can put your legs over me while I'm gaming. Put your <laughs> legs over me. You can put your ass right here Give in the lap. Give me some while I'm playing 2K, baby. Boy, that worked, too. I might lose, <laughs> but that worked. Shit. <laughs> and I don't even play 2K. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, back then, you used to play Halo and shit. I did play Halo, but I was more of a uh, Call of Duty person still. Yeah. Hey, what if our heads were shaped like that, bro? Every single like cone heads. That movie Cone Head. You Man, seen what that movie? The fuck, what the fuck you know about cone heads, nigga? Eighties, yeah, I mean, like eighties baby, yeah, I'm but I'm a nineties baby. But what if head. everybody heads was like cone heads? Yo? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> cone heads was wow, yo. I seen that movie a billion fucking times. Everybody has like on his. Nah, for real. Things won't run like this all day. That Hi, be, how are you doing? That should be heavy. <laughs> that should be heavy as hell. Like that t- I got dreads, so my head oh, already yes. heavy, but yeah. they got all that all that weight up here. That should be like this. <laughs> niggas eat like crazy, yo. <laughs> Remember their teeth? Remember niggas' teeth? <laughs> yo. 
<laughs> niggas had rows of teeth. Like, open yeah. their mouth. It's another 150 teeth back That's there. That's crazy. Bro. Yes, how, as well. how 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 are the uh, how everything with school starting off with the kids and whatnot? That's a good question. Uh, pretty good so far. Uh, my son claims he hates school, but now nah, he don't even want to be late to school. <laughs> uh, but it's just it, for the most part, everything's pretty good. No complaints. I think now for school for kids, man. I thought back in the day it was super like popularity wise, but now I think the popularity will, shit has risen to an all time high based off what they wear. Because back in the day, our parents had us on sketches. The fucking Space Jam shoes that light up type shits. Yeah. But <clears throat> don't get me wrong. It is some kids now that want light up shoes. But when I say like popularity status risen to the top more than ever because the parents now. Um, they feel like their kids are not don't have on good clothes if they don't got Jordans on or if they don't have fucking Nike on. You know what I'm saying? So I yeah. feel like school is like really hard for kids now based off the parents now and the shit that the kid what well, the parents give the kids instead of letting the kids choose what they want. And I understand that some kids see other kids and be wanting that shit. Yeah. But it is some other kids that see those kids that don't give a fuck about that shit. Well, I don't think... Uh, <clears throat> I don't think it was... And this is just my opinion. I don't think it was as bad... No, it is as bad as it was back then. Like, I remember... I, I buy my kid like whatever like t shirt, whatever jeans, but I do make sure he has on Nike uh Nike kicks. Like but you know, like you said, not everybody See, can is, afford is that. that is that of your choice or is that your kid's choice? Yeah, because I do like it's it's my choice and it's not his. But if your kid be like, Hey dad, I'm coming to you and he be like, Hey dad, yo, I want these I shoes want these, right here. Yeah. Why you want them? Oh, cause I seen him with them on in school. Is that the only reason why you want them? No, nah, I want him to have quality shoes. Understood. You Understood. Know, uh, and them shacks or whatever, the Walmart kicks. Uh, it's not quality shoe, but their shoes, their their pants and shirts are cool. I like. I get a basic ass two dollar t shirt. Hell yeah, they grow right out of them shits. But yeah, um, <clears throat> the shoes do matter to me because of the quality, not because of a name brand. It is quality. But uh, I grew up not having, like, I grew up, remember, back then, motherfuckers would joke the shit out you if you got on some. It's, it's like that now. It's like that now. Yeah, you might get put on. I feel like it's worse now. I don't know. And I then, feel like you might get put on the internet. Like, I'm, that's what I'm saying. It's worse now. It's worse now to the point to where, like, it, instead, back in our day, it was. Oh shit, boy! You got them high waters on, boy. Why you got them high waters on like that? And now it's like, oh shit, boy! Why you got these high waters on like that shit now, and boy? Up, and they yeah. little ass kids, like yeah. seven years old. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, like that shit's worse now. Yeah, that especially shit is the, but especially worse now. especially the potential for it, like you said, like versus this is just right. locally, like. Versus back then it was locally versus now it's globally. Like I'm putting your ass on Facebook or whatever. All my yeah. friends about to see you. Yeah. Everybody in the school about to see you. Not just yeah. our not just our click of five yeah. and this other click of five 
joking each other. Now right. it's this click five. I would click five in the whole entire school. And not yeah, just our school. school. The community. I got <laughs> followers at the other school too. So boy, we finna shit, flame the, your the ass. Parents, the parents. Some of the parents yeah. being on these kids shit. You know what I'm saying? So like, so, yeah. I feel like kids really do got that shit hard. Bro. Yeah, I was going to base it. I feel like they do got to keep up with the Joneses, but they really don't have to. I feel like it's their attitude like, and all the way how they carry themselves and their demeanor. But I... Yeah. But I, kids now I really do feel like they try so hard to keep up with the Joneses and everything. But I, I it's gonna be hard for me when I have a kid, bro. Well, I ain't gonna say hard. Your standards gonna be high or something. I ain't gonna say hard, and I don't think my standards would be high because of the person that I am. Um, like like you said, I want my kid to be in quality guys' clothes, yeah, gear, attire. Yeah. I like to dress nice, so of course, why not have my kid dressing something nice? And but then again, that's why all these other parents, I'm gonna buy my kid this Versace because I'm wearing Versace. I feel like that won't be me though. I ain't about to buy my kid no Versace because that little motherfucker nah. about to go run through the mud. Press ain't buying no Versace for the kid. No. Gucci or whatever. Yeah, nah. Or or, or yeah, these fucking some, Jordans. Some go out shit. Like, or these Jordans that I know my nah. kid is gonna fucking. Run through the trenches in school with yeah, all these bro, other kids and be kids. I found a pair of Adidas going for twenty, and my girl purchased some shit. They were twenty dollars. They're Adidas, but they're good quality. I'm not paying, you know, I'm not paying crazy amounts of money for no shoes like a hundred dollars for a pair of Jordans. He's seven years old. Bro. I wear some Pumas the third. Right you know what now, I'm saying? Boy, you feel me? You know what I'm oh God, that and they fine yeah. too. Yeah, Puma got some shit. Don't stick oh, I know that's why I said it. Yeah. <laughs> that's shit. why I said it. Yeah. But I, I ain't. I don't think I'll be like that type of parent because I'm so goofy, man. Uh, but then again, I can't say that because my kid come to me and they be like, yo, dad, I want these shoes because I feel like. Well, excuse me. I want these shoes so this kid can stop joking me. If my kid come to me and tell me that, I will be furious, of course. Yeah, for sure. And I'm going to go buy them the shoes and some other shoes. And I know I'm going to tell that. I know I'm going to tell my kid to be like, all right, cool. When you step in school, make sure everybody see your fit and everything that you got on. You feel me? But also let them know that you don't need this to be cool. So you, you ever, can you ever play been that fried? Person. Yes, yes. So oh, that's okay. why I can say that. Yeah. Like I, like bro, I had a. I ain't gonna say my. I didn't have no. I didn't have a rough growing up, but I didn't have everything that I wanted. You feel me? Like I had to, I had to wait, or I never got it. I if that some, makes uh, sense. That's some off brand middle school. I remember. Never forget the shit. I'm. I had on some off brand. Uh, <laughs> and my sister I ain't gonna say who or why, so. but I had on some Dollar General shoes, bro. I mean, bro, look, <laughs> look, bro. And this nigga went to fry me, boy. I couldn't do shit about it, but this shit hurt your feelings, though, right? Of course, as a kid, hell yeah. We're in seventh grade, sixth grade. You want you was sitting over there off the meme in his ass, ready to hit him in the mouth. <laughs> yeah, but you mad he, as hell. But, your ego of, hurt. I, Your bro, pride I think hurt. this nigga was remedial, honestly. But I'm gonna leave him, I'm gonna leave him alone. It was I sound bitter. <laughs> nah, but for real, like you've been through it though. So you can understand like you want your kids like you personally before your kids, you told yourself you was gonna have nice things. Yeah. Excuse me. Just because yeah, yeah. maybe that thought came in the back of your head. You know what I'm saying? Excuse me. But Damn, man, it's 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 gonna be hard, bro. It's gonna be. I'm gonna say for me, you already going through that shit. I mean, yeah, I take care of kids, but for have one of my own, and for them to come to me and I have to actually sit there and live with them and be like, Dad, this kid fucking with me because my clothes don't look like this, and I yeah, and I'm working hard as fuck yeah for our living. You know what I'm saying? But I never just, had to. He never came saying nothing about no shit like that. It might happen one day. It might. 
Well, he be having, so I ain't worried about <laughs> nobody joking my, my nigga. Like, hey, bro, you never. Boy I ain't gonna say. I ain't. Nah, but it won't. Ha- I ain't. Yeah, they gotta be about his clothes. It could be right. how he look. It could be about saying? anything. Yeah, it could be anything. His skin color, for mm-hmm. one. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. For fucking one. Yep. He can come to you and be like, "Yo, dad, I was chilling with the black crowd and shit. I really like how they is." But I was chilling with the white people and they don't be acting like that. Oh shit, he already but, sees that off the rip, bro. You know what I'm saying? But he that, can separate shit like that already. He already asked me questions like shit. shit but like when that. he come and ask you shit like that, it make you think like, oh shit, like you know what I'm saying? Like I've been through it, but I ain't really yeah. express myself or talked about it. Yeah. So what kind of I ain't gonna say what kind of advice can you give your kid, but you can give them advice. Don't get me wrong. Yeah, but colorism is a thing. Like, because, uh, <clears throat> like, how can I explain this? I'm, I've always went through shit, even because I know he's gonna go through it. He's a kid that's. Quote, well, unquote. that nigga would be fighting, bro. Yeah, he's he light skinned nigga with color he, eyes man. and curly hair. T- that nigga would be fighting. That's where I was gonna go. He, he, <laughs> he's one of them quote unquote black kids, but he he looks white. Like his eyes are green, hair about damn near blonde. Well, he would be fighting, boy. Drake colored skin with green. Like, uh, he can, I don't even advise him to use the word nigga. Like, you can't do that. Like. Like you, you know, I'm I'm at the color where I can do it. He can't. I don't know. He looks too white. But he, if you look in his he face, talks, you look in his face, you can you can tell he's not white. Though. But you can't tell him he can't say the word nigga when he get older though. Nah, it just depends. I don't know he how it's going go. His ass can be the color of logic ass. But you can't say they, he can't but, use the word nigga though. But you see, they on logic ass. For but, using it, he don't look like Logic. Logic looks like a white guy. Yeah, you're right though. You're right. You're totally <clears throat> fucking right. You're totally fucking right about that. Yeah. Totally fucking right. But I mean, uh, I mean, Logic looks like a white kid, but he's part black. Yeah, he is. His pops is black. I mean, you can't deny it. He has that charcoal copper tone bronze running through his veins, mm-hmm. brother. So I mean, mm-hmm. but I always look at it like, bro, Drake says it. He's the whitest of light skin niggas. <laughs> He's Canadian, brother. <laughs> yeah, right? but he is Canadian, right? Yeah, but that don't stop the black jeans. Yeah, it doesn't. Mm-hmm. Damn. But nah, it colorism is a thing. Like I've uh, experienced. I don't want to say racism, but discrimination oh, from shit. both sides. But I've I've always been more accepted by black people. Obviously, to white people, you still a nigga. At the end of the day, but, yo, uh, I understand when you say that by both sides, bro. Mm-hmm. Cause I can go to one of these parties in the hood, man, you know what I'm saying, or hosted by a hood person, and they be like, "Bro, I ain't seen you here in a long time." I'm like, bro, well, what you doing over here? You don't belong here. Bitch, what you fuck you mean I don't belong here, nigga? I'm here because I want to be here. What? Do you belong here? And I, <laughs> boy, I be, I be mad, boy. I ain't gonna lie. I, ain't be, I be mad. I be mad sometimes, but I got to remember. What like, you mean? What, what, hold on. Uh-huh. What does that mean? What, what, you don't belong here. What that mean? Yeah. You felt discrimination from both sides. From the white side and the black side. Mm. I'm black as fuck. Mama black and daddy black, but... I don't be over there in the hood all day, every day. I don't even be in the hood all day. Okay. I see what you're saying. You know what I'm saying? But I know people over there. I I go over there sometimes whenever I want. People be like, bro, I'm used to seeing you at a bar down there with the white folks. I mean, I I just just like that scenery better. I just... I ain't got nothing against my folks. Don't get me wrong. I love my community. I die for my community. Mm. I put other motherfuckers in a place where I met for my community. I done punch niggas in a face down where I met for my community. For my community. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So don't, 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 don't say yeah. I'm, I'm, I don't belong somewhere just because you don't see me here every day, all day. 
Maybe you need to come down there and get the connections that I know. Or, or you know what I'm saying? Good that that's the whole point. I get connections from there too. I get connections from my community. A lot of them. I get connections from the other side. I play lacrosse. Motherfuckers got mad with me for playing lacrosse. Because you fuck with white people. Yeah, man, don't leave me alone. That's like, weird. Like, fuck you, boy. That's weird to me. That's always been like, weird to me. Like, fuck you. Like, you ain't got nothing against... I ain't got nothing against you, and you ain't got nothing against me, but fuck you because you want to say I'm over here playing this white people's sport. You're a part of the problem. I be part of it, and guess what? No, I, not you. Not you. I'm saying... the. I, I break I'm generational curses. the person that say that about you. And I tell them I break generational curses. Like they they're a part of the problem. Like yeah, they are. Like uh, okay, they're part. Yeah. Okay, you did say that. Like the when white, that, if there's right. a if there's a white a group of white people, they get mad when when somebody white goes and hangs with a group of black people. And right. It, it's the same way when a group of black people feel some type of way because you be hanging with white folks. Like dog, throw that shit out the window. Like. Yo, uh, a motherfucker that you close with from your community will turn on you faster than a person that you don't even fucking know or never been with or have yeah. been with for a month. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's sad to say. And honestly, us black folks, like, bro, we the biggest community that don't know how to stay with each other. We do, we, we always. Some of us frown upon each other when we pose to uplift each other, man. Like, yeah, like, bro, we the most powerful bro. ass motherfuckers on this human on this planet, bro. And niggas break from being who they are. Niggas break every day from being who they are just to fit in, bro. Nah, fuck that. I don't understand that. I don't understand why people break. I mean, I mean, maybe because they don't want to feel belittled by uh, anybody else. But that 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 shouldn't determine anything, yo. Because once you make that choice in life, that shit is gonna follow you. Even though people will say, "Don't judge me for my," you know, <clears throat> "Don't judge, don't judge me for my actions that happened in the past." But nigga. You done broke who you are for this type of person and whatnot. I, and I don't even know, bro. I just don't understand. I don't understand why we can't come together like we posed to without hating on each other. I don't understand. It's very complex. And, and yet so simple at the same time. It really is. I don't understand, yo. We the biggest community that can't do that. But <clears throat> we quick to Chinese people do it. Japanese people do it. White people are, are man, Mexicans do it. Mexicans. Man. White people are amazing at sticking together. These motherfuckers are like they in sync with each other, like it, it, it's 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 proven in this world. It's proven in this world, bro, that I mean not not all communities are like that. No. Not all not all not not of course like not. that. But most percentage the, the the highest percentage come from us, bro. Not sticking together. It was some of us, I'm gonna say. Some of us. But there's a lot of shit that come with it, man. Like what? <clears throat> like what? It's a whole lot of shit. It's, you can't just pick apart one. Or for, as far as niggas not sticking together, like why? Yep. Yeah. Uh, yep. Yep. We can use that one for example. Uh, yep. I don't got no like no theory on that. Give like, me the. Give me your wildest nigga. Give me your wildest example, nigga. We here talking. Who else gonna say we can't say what the hell we want to say well, right now? Or. Black people were set back so far, right? We damn sure was. And when they say 400 years of slavery, 
That's a long time, yo. It's a long time, and it's longer than that. Imagine being set back that long. And then, like, your mind, after being set back that long from slavery, then slavery ends, but it doesn't technically end. Like, really, they still, they're still still red zone places. I don't know if you know what red zoning is or white people do. School me right quick, brother. Red zoning. All right, so, like, let me get in my bag. Red zoning. Say, like, uh, you know, white folks built the hood. Every Martin Luther King leads straight to the hood. Mm-hmm. Martin Luther King Boulevard, mm-hmm. in every city, it's a straight line lead straight to the hood. They used to red line the hood. Mm-hmm. So, say, like, uh, where the nice homes are. We can use this example. Craven Terrace, Trent Court, like they're kind of across the mm-hmm. from each other, mm-hmm. but you could redline that area. The Glen Burnie Road was that Glen Burnie Road. Well, I live right here and don't even fucking know if that's the road. <laughs> Whatever, but you know you could ah, you could redline that from the hood on up. You know what I'm saying? And certain neighborhoods, Trent, Trent Woods, whatever. It's where the white people live, and it's always across the railroads or some shit like some shit like uh, that. Ah, okay, okay. So that's okay. called redlining, and like if there was a black person that were to become a doctor or something and make it out the red line, Shut they up, make sure he don't, don't go, go back. Do you know what I'm saying? And well, anyway, a doctor, excuse me. That shit set black people back. Like it's a whole bunch of shit that still sets black people back to this day. But that that's not an excuse to why uh, black people can't come together. But that's the 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 things that will, the obstacles that are in the way for black people to come together. The scrutiny, the just the the bullshit that was in the way, the shit Man. that was put in the. You seen that movie with Jamie Fox? The shit that was put in the food. The shit that's uh, it's so much shit uh, that was done to stunt the growth. And still being folks. done to this day to to stop black people from even. Being able to come together. And I'm not trying to excuse Being anything. Stereotyp- uh, stereotyp- st- I can't even get the fucking word out. Stereotypical mm-hmm. of things. All right, I'm black. So, I'll, of course, I'm going to wear goals all day. <laughs> um, I'm a black man. I wear goals. So, mm-hmm. therefore, stay away from him because he got gold teeth. I'm a black man because I got dreadlocks. Stay away from me because I got dreadlocks. I'm a black man, and I don't got a job, but I'm steady out here applying for other jobs. But just because I'm a black man without a job, people see me as a bum. Um, I'm a black man, and I got different baby. I got four different baby mamas, so mm. therefore they gonna say I don't take care of my children. Mm. This is stereo- like, well, stereotypical dude. ass shit that we gotta go through. But whoa, fuck this! I understand that. Yeah, I understand that. I had to lean over. Right the stereotypes are a thing. The stereotypes are a thing, and that's there's, what comes with our there's community. There's a lot of stereotypes. Um, when it comes to that, that too. But that the stereotypes alone shouldn't shouldn't affect. Mm. It shouldn't, but it does, bro. Yeah, but yeah, that, but that's a part does. of the, the, the. Yeah, it does. It, it does. does a lot. It does a lot. It does. Yeah, but uh, that 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 there alone, let me stutter, is why my my theory is on why it's so hard for black people to come together, and and I'm not Martin Luther King. I'm not. None of that shit. So and we just hate on each other, yo. I yeah, I hate why. that shit so bad. Not all of us, not all of us, but some of us we do, man. I don't, I don't. <clears throat> we don't do it, and we don't do it secretly to where like we can come together and make some money all together, and we all be happy. It'd be like, nah, nigga, I can't make no money with you, type shit. The fuck you mean? I'm over here making money too. Like, like, bro, you, you run a successful business. I run a successful business. In your business, I may need something, 
in my business, you may need something. Mm-hmm. So why not try to come together and be like, all right, bro, I can give you this product for. I'm selling corn, Trade. Nigga. nigga. I'm selling corn. You selling cucumbers. Why can't I bring you a bundle? You bring me a bundle, and, and, and you feel me? Mm-hmm. And keep that shit between our community. Motherfuckers won't do that. They rather go down the street to the somebody they don't even know, just yeah. because they bundle twenty five cent cheaper than yours that you trying to sell it to. Like nigga, and they didn't even. How about this? They didn't even grow they shit, and they shit is all organic, like how you grew your shit. You feel me? I, I'm gonna say me because that's the that's the kind that's the. <laughs> that's a, I got kind of mad right there. I was thinking about some other shit. Okay, but okay. you growing corn, I you growing cucumbers. I'm growing corn. You feel me? I'm, we trading together. Okay, I get upset with you because you won't give me the corn for a bundle for fifty cent, but I can go down the street and get it for twenty five cent. Okay. I'm going to get mad with you and go down the street and get that shit for 25 cents instead of keeping that shit between my community. Trading that shit between me and you. You my brother. Keep that shit going on between our family. I'd rather say fuck you and go down the street to Jimmy who sh- who, who bundle a corn for 25 cents cheaper instead of keeping that shit between us. Yeah. That's the black community, bro. Am I right or am I wrong? That's all you right to me. Nah, for real though. All jokes aside, bro. Am I right or am I wrong? You're right. Cause I if it school me, bro. Let me know if I did something or said something wrong. That's how life is, and that's how it is with the black community. Like, bro, we could start a business together right now, uh growing shit. But I know somebody else who's selling their shit for cheaper, and I'd rather go to him instead of you. That don't make sense to me. I don't want to see you come up. You ain't about to go Before out. Before being in competition with, with each other. Like, I, I It'd don't, be weird. The energy be weird, too. That's our community, bro. That's mm-hmm. our community. So when we do find somebody who is willing to keep that shit real with us and be down and loyal with us, we find that shit to be weird. Mm. And that shit pisses me off. Mm. It takes a lot not to trust somebody, yo. Yeah. I mean, you can always expect people to be who they are. Yes. But it takes a lot not to trust somebody. And like, bro, we ain't here making money together and I ain't gonna trust you. You got me fucked up. I can expect you to do some shit. So when you do it, I am gonna come to you and ask you about that shit. So I expect you to be truthful because you a real ass nigga or whatever the fuck going on. But, bro. We can't. Us community, we can't, bro. It, 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 and it's sad. But some of us, we can. Would you move back to Africa if you could? Mm. Let's leave on that one. <laughs> We're going to hour 30, man. If you haven't already, like, share, subscribe. This has been we live, Area Codes We live in a new Africa right now. <laughs> What? Yeah. Yeah. Nah. We living in New Africa right now. Uh oh. Yeah. In all reality, America probably uh, America belongs to black anyway. Bro, the niggas in Africa killing each other. They were black foot. They were black foot when they when American. Uh, what's his name? Christopher Columbus and them came over here. They were black feet Indian. Black. Hence black. They feet won't black because they won't black. There was black bruh, people here. Niggas first. in Africa killing each other, bro. Of and course. And they the same skin oh, color. Oh, no. Of course. Like I'd rather stay where I met, bro. Yeah. Oh, no. Me too. I'll I go never there and visit. I didn't give you don't my get answer. I, you know, when I said, would I'm you rather you run off to Africa? I don't. We I don't live in go to Africa. Africa right now. I just didn't refer to this as New Africa. Uh, I, I mean, I, yeah, I'm Africa not, is worse off than motherfuckers make it seem like. Go there, People get on the internet and be like, "No, Africa is a beautiful place." Sure, it is. Yeah, it is. But what it come with it? The certain laws, what they're doing over there, it ain't like it's a little different than you know. It's very much as beautiful as fuck over there. But yeah. go ahead. <laughs>
<laughs> you'll be getting your your hands yeah. chopped off for yeah, something. Ain't gonna be the lions doing it to you. Yeah, yeah. go ahead, yeah. go the fuck here, bro. Well, I'll pass on Africa, man. But maybe you know if they do something one day. Uh, I'd rather, I'd Akon talk I'd rather stay shit. where I'm at right now, brother. And 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 I don't mean that in no disrespectful way. But what they got going on over there ain't meant for me. Nah, nah. bro. You can't even ride down in no Jeep, Sahara, and mm-hmm. enjoy the view right now like without somebody. Yeah, you feel me? I mean, that's yeah. every day on the street where we walking at right now. Mm-hmm. It's, there's so much poverty out there. It's worse over there than here. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, the percentage is higher over there than versus what it is over here. Nigga went to Dominican Republic and got and got robbed. Well, I ain't gonna say robbed, but tax more you for said niggas press you in the Dominican Republic. Yo, yo, nigga took us down the street. Yo, niggas took it down the street. He want to tell this story, y'all. Now he gonna tell us. Nah, it. niggas took us down the street. Well, uh-huh. not down the street. It was man, it was a little. It was a little ways from the little docking ship mm-hmm. from the cruise. Mm-hmm. And buddy was like, "Yeah, I want this. I want this." And I'm like, "Bro." I your said, fucking pockets, pussy. I, nah, you got me fucked up. <laughs> I personally said and looked at who I was with and was like, I don't need to get this nigga that much money. We, yeah. we could have walked here. Yeah. From his demeanor, it was, gimme, gimme, gimme. I brought you here, gimme. Because he thought niggas didn't understand. Oh. You feel me? One of those guys. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. And, and it wasn't no gimme, gimme. And I'm like, yo, I'm not about to... I told the person I was with and I was like yo nah I don't think we should give him all this like this right now because it's not right and plus yeah. our money doesn't equivalent to their money yeah like yeah, yeah, you yeah, feel yeah, me? yeah it's probably more, at the time was more yeah, powerful I more. think it's more yeah. but at, like nah but he like I took you here you give me this this is what you supposed to get and if not, I leave you. Fine, leave, bitch. I, I know how to fucking get back. I walk. Yeah. I, I seen the way how you got here. It's a straight shot, motherfucker. Yeah. You got me fucked up. That, in my, that's what was in my head. Yeah. But I ain't say that out loud. Yeah. The per, the, the, the woman I was with at that time seen that shit and read like, nigga, I ain't about to give you none of this. Touch. Right. Well, excuse me. The people that we was with gave them the money. And I was like, bro, no, no. I mean, we go give them money for gas money, yes. Yeah. But all this type money that you giving up? No, no, nah. Fuck, I'm with. I'm willing to motherfucking brawl fuck out here. You up. I'm willing to brawl in the Dominican up, Republic streets for this shit here, Jack. And I guarantee we Wait, get Wait, oh, Dominican back. Republic. Okay. Damn right, we in the Dominican. Making Republic. sure I had the uh, accent no, right. No, we in the Dominican Republic for this. <laughs> Nah, Jack. So a man's gonna whoop your ass. You got me fucked up. You finna whoop my ass. <laughs> I, I, took give, you down the street, I didn't give no money up because I knew I wasn't supposed to give that much money up. But I ain't give no money yeah. up for that taxi ride. But I tried to tell the person not to give that much money up. Yeah. Because he was trying to strong on I get that, yeah. more tip money than what it would. Like, mm-hmm. bro, you got me fucked up. Bro, man. I ain't that tip. Ain't no I ain't no bitch ass American out here. Right. I'll fuck your shit up and yeah. go back on that cruise ship, man. Like ain't nothing happened. Like, yeah. Yeah. But Yo, welcome back to Area Codes, man. Fast, man. If you haven't already like shit, subscribe. This nigga ain't said shit the whole episode. He just let me talk to you. Come on, man. We got to get up out of here, man. It's going on hour 30, man. We appreciate y'all coming through, man. Uh, this has been a new little arrangement. It looked good. Y'all think, I think it went went through pretty well, man. A little... Little uh, experiment we doing right now with the pod. It's just keep keep your shit flowing. Yeah, actually, this shit was cool though. I ain't gonna lie, but um, yeah, yeah. I'd rather not have this for our main shit because we already didn't start doing what we supposed to do. But yeah, we can sub this shit in though for y'all fuck niggas who act like they want to bail on us. Mm-hmm. But that's okay. That way we'll never miss an episode. So fuck. It. That's okay. It's all right, y'all. It's all good, you know. You know, I'm trying, you know, we all man. Eric Cole's podcast. Fuck with Always, us, we fuck man. without us, man. Yeah.